Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Casey Michelle, full-time breathwork coach, facilitator, and um, I help people get into their breaths to get out of their minds, to get into their bodies, to enjoy what it feels like to be rather than to do. And today I kind of want to talk about my entrepreneurship journey a little bit as being a breathwork facilitator. I don't really talk about this much online, um, not for any reason, but just hasn't been time, but now it's time. And so I want to just dive into some things I wish I knew before becoming a full-time breathwork coach. If you at all are interested in becoming a breathwork teacher or you want to learn more about this, let me know in the comments. So to dive right in, I have been teaching breathwork for, I guess we're going on year five, which is wild. And I did not plan this. This is not something that I was like, I'm gonna be a breathwork coach. Controversial, don't have a fancy piece of paper, don't have any fancy certifications. I don't. Do I ever want to get one? Yeah, I think so. I think it would just feel cool to expand my knowledge and kind of check that off the list and get that fancy piece of paper. But I am experienced certified. I really just feel like it was an aligned thing for me to do. Some may disagree with that. That might make you feel like, girl, you lost all credit, whatever. I, I clearly know what I'm doing to some degree, okay? <laughs> and I have plenty more to learn, of course. So the first thing that I wish I knew before becoming full-time a breathwork teacher, and this one seems obvious, but I have to say it because it's real, is balance. As a, what some would call a healer, teacher, guide, it is natural for me to like nurture someone in like a space like that. Like when I'm teaching one-on-one -on -one with clients or even a class, I am like holding you. Like I have created a musical journey with this playlist. That's like my thing, y'all. I like make fire playlists for you to breathe to. Anyway. Yeah, I'm like curating an experience to hold you basically and like let you explore yourself. And so finding a balance of that with other people and that with myself. I did have chapters within like teaching in these past few years where I was like losing my own anchor, you know? Like I was just super booked and super busy and that's a blessing, but reaching my daily hour became really hard or um, you know, sometimes I split it up. Like I would do like a morning 30 and then a night 30. And prioritizing being on the receiver side of the practice, whatever yours may be, but breathwork obviously, you know, like going to breathwork classes and meeting other breathwork coaches, you know, like just ha making that a priority. Mondays are like the day that I do not do one-on-ones. Like that is my day of the week where I'm not on any Zoom calls. Like <laughs> you'll not catch me teaching breath work. Second thing that I have learned as a breath work coach that I wish someone told me, I don't know how to like word this one, but breath work is becoming trendy. It's an ancient practice like in Egypt, you know, like this has been a thing, but it's now trendy in moments. It does feel oversaturated, you know? I think wellness in general, I mentioned this in a few videos ago, but like wellness is trending. And I think there's beauty in that. I'm honestly like, wow, people are like, becoming aware that, you know, big pharma and Western society and medicine and all these things don't actually help you. They just band-aid you and want your money more than anything. So it is like, oh, people are waking up. But in that, it, it does have moments where it's discouraging, I have to be honest, because one, I am not like certified officially. And you see people that got the piece of paper, but don't actually know the depth of the practice. Um, and that might be totally not true. But just in some of my experiences of actual breathwork classes I've sat in on or conversations with people that have been to certain classes or experiences and they even felt that like it was just very, um, I don't know, textbook, I guess. And I just, I, I won't lie, I have to like toot my own horn and pride myself on like, I love being kind of experience certified because I, feel like I create relatable spaces in that way. Um, I think like knowing all the knowledge is cool, but it also can easily like distract the mind, you know? Like you can know all the fun facts about the lungs, but have you really like dove deep into yourself, you know? And so I don't, I hope that comes off like in a loving way. It's, I'm not judging anybody who's trying to get into it or discouraging anybody that's trying to get into it, but in general, with so many voices on the internet and so many people with giving unsolicited advice, 
having to like remember my why and my purpose and that like I do have enough knowledge and you know that whole like imposter syndrome thing like throw that out the window <laughs> you know just because I don't have the piece of paper or I don't have a million followers or I'm not like doing the trendy style of breath work or you know Wim Hof isn't something that I practice daily like because those very known things are so everywhere now like remembering that that's actually really special that I, I don't maybe participate in that and that my voice is a little different than a lot of the ones you might hear. Uh, it might be similar too. So just, just remembering that because there was just moments um, and there's still sometimes moments, <laughs> but of just, you know, questioning if I do actually know what I'm talking about. And then I like teach someone in breath work and I'm like, I totally know what I'm talking about. Third thing I wish I knew, and it's hard, you know, this is all relative. Like I think I learned everything at a really great pace. So I don't really wish I knew these things, but these are things I'm like trying to help you out with. I wish I knew, or maybe someone gave me a heads up that it's a lot more than breath work when you're just a one woman, one person show. And it's one of the hardest practices to explain. I think personally, like, Yoga is very obviously like physical and almost kind of like a little bit easier for people to get into. I think it's very universally like known and accepted. Like some people don't even know what breath work is and like more people are learning, but there's still times where I'm like, oh, I'm a breath work teacher. People are like, what? And also in that, this is like a sub category, but also realizing that you will only attract people that are ready. And that goes for a lot of parts of your life. <laughs> but um, trying to convince the world that like, you need breath work if you have lungs. Like, I mean, I feel that still. Like everybody who has lungs, everybody who's watching, you need breath work. Like there's nobody that did, could not benefit from this practice. Realizing that like, it's not always necessary to just scream at the top of the mountain. Um, because it actually just kind of gets lost. Really being more intentional about the people that do come to me to want to know more. Um, really being more focused on that than rather, you know, it's great if the whole world wanted to sign up to learn how to breath, do breath work, but that not being discouraging to me when someone doesn't want to do it. And again, it's really hard to explain because I even meditation is again, a little bit more universally accepted. A lot of people don't, always had the best experience with meditation. You know, people are like, I can't do it, it's hard. And so like trying to be like, hey, it's like meditation, but like not like meditation, but it's a form of that, but like it's not. And you know, everybody's experience is so different with breath work. So like trying to explain what it'll be like, I, it might not be like how I'm explaining it. So um, just, you know, I kind of wish I realized that a little sooner and didn't spend so much energy trying to convince the world that this is the greatest thing ever and just allowing the world to realize that this is the greatest thing ever at its own pace. But in general, you know, this video could be really long, guys. I, this is the most rewarding thing I think I could ever be doing. It is so rewarding and in full transparency in moments I've, like I mentioned, I've questioned, you know, like, why am I doing this or what am I doing this for and do I really know? But Every time I get in that space to lead a breathwork class, before and after of the people that I work with is so apparent that it is just so rewarding. It is the best feeling ever. And even in myself, you know, like in my daily practice, seeing my before and after is like night and day. I don't know what else I would be doing, honestly. It's opened up so many opportunities and I've met so many people. And Y'all care about breathing? Like what? <laughs> as much as I do, what? So it's really cool. I, I just, a moment of gratitude for the journey thus far, for all of you watching, for all of you that support. Let me know uh, if you are interested in being a breathwork coach in the comments down below, or if this is something you're interested in in general. I'm just curious, you know, I'm like, who else out there wants to teach this? And yeah, guys, until next time, I will see you in the next video. Peace.